Hi, and welcome to my fifth Custom Blythe video. This time, we're making clothes. You can see I've already designed and made a lot already from these little pattern pieces. I'll show you these clothes at the end of the video. Today I'm going to start simple with a t-shirt. I haven't seen anyone else use these for dolls clothes, they're temporary tattoos. Cheap and cheerful and they make great t-shirt designs. I'm going to choose one for the front. I'm using fairly thin white jersey. If you use dark fabric, your tattoo might not be so visible. I've drawn and roughly cut my pattern piece. I remove the tattoo film and stick it carefully into place on the t-shirt. Using a sponge and water, I firmly press and wet the tattoo paper. Once saturated, you can peel away the backing. Let it dry. I covered the front with baking parchment and gently pressed it with the iron, no steam. I've cut out the sleeve pieces, the rectangles are the cuffs. Fold and pin the cuffs. Sew so the folded edge can be turned out. Trim the excess. I use iron-on interfacing for the facing here. Cut larger than the neck hole and back opening. Sew around the slit mark and on the collar line. Cut out the neck hole and the slit and turn facing to the inside. Then press into place with the iron. Top stitch the collar. Then sew on the sleeves. I'm hand stitching everything here. You could pin or baste stitch before sewing. Repeat for the second sleeve. Now we sew down each side. Make sure your cuffs are pointed the right way out. Trim excess and snip your curves. Now I'll add a hem to the bottom. It's just another 2cm rectangle cut longer than twice the shirt width. I hadn't cut the hem to the line, so I line my piece up to it and stitch a few millimetres in. Trim the excess and turn it the right way out. We can now add a fastening. I like a button and loop. I'll link the video where I show making this loop in more detail. Here's the finished shirt. You could add longer sleeves, paint it or embroider it. I thought my sleeves were too long, so I made another one, and I put a cute cupcake on the front. Next up, I'll make some basic leggings. There's just one pattern piece, cut twice with one flipped. The higher end is the back seam. I hem the bottom of each leg, then right sides facing, I sew the front and back seams. Open the leggings out and sew from hem to hem around the crotch. Turn them right sides out and cut a rectangle to make a waistband, just two centimetres wide again. I've tacked it, then sewn it. Trimmed away the excess and turned it right side up. I actually made it a little tight, so make sure your waistband has the stretch going the right way. It still fits though, so here are her leggings. Next, I'll make a pinafore dress. I don't have a pattern for this, as it's all rectangles. I cut the front bib 3.5cm square and give it a lining. The skirt is cut 40 by 10 cm Also, a waistband at 9 by 2 cm I iron on interfacing to the waistband. I choose trimmings, lace for the skirt edge, and white gathered lace for inside the skirt. I sew on the blue lace, and also some loosely tensioned lines. I gather these for the waist. I did this for the bottom temporarily, and ironed all the little wrinkles in to give it a crinkly look. Here's the bottom hem after. 
I lightly hand stitched on the white gathered lace so it sits at the same level as the hem. Here it is from the outside. Next I sew the bib to the waistband. I fold the waistband and pin it to the waist of the skirt. I've sewn along the waistband and removed the gathering stitches that were visible. The wrinkles are already pressed in. I hand stitch lace around the bib. Now I sew up half the skirt, leaving the top half open. I fold back and stitch the raw edges of the top half and the waistband. For the shoulder straps, I cut two centimetre wide strips and press the edges in. I use iron-on interfacing to secure these. I've chosen some buttons and decorations to add. I tuck and glue the tips of the straps, then sew them to the bib with buttons. I cross the straps at the back and stitch them on. I add a button and loop. Finally, I sew on a couple of bows to tie it all together. I made a very simple headband by sewing a long rectangle with pointed ends. I make a bag using the same fabric with improvised sizes. I cut out one square for the bag, a little pocket and a strap. I interface and I fold and stitch the strap. I sew a top edge for the pocket, then fold in the other three sides and sew onto the bag. Here I folded the bag in half and sew along the two sides. I tucked over the raw top edge and top stitch it, sewing the strap into place as I go. Here you can see that I've poked in the corners of the bag and sort of concertinaed the top edge. I've chosen some decoration to glue on once I've stitched closed the concertinas. Here's my silver studs and heart. And the finished bag. Before we finish, I thought I'd very quickly show you all the clothes I've already made for my Blythes. I store them in bags for now, labelled. We have a little red tutu, my Simply Delight dress. Some black leggings I made, my Steven Universe t-shirt, a little black crocheted vest, a lovely little dress, I'm quite happy with this one, with velcro at the back, my orange and blue themed. Another cute dress made with a large flowery fabric and a little, a little ribbony belt. shape that. This and the shorts, these are actually an uh, old Barbie outfit, as is this. This is from my childhood, a little school skirt with straps, a little skirt that I made, a little bit of embroidery on the waist. Here's another crocheted cardigan with velcro and a pretend button. Here's another jumper, crocheted again with a bear pattern on the front. And here's a shirt that I made, quite happy with this as well, velcro and decorative buttons. Nice little cuffs. And here's another using the same pattern, it's one I drafted myself. And again, decorative cuffs and front to it, just velcro. Here's a couple of very retro, uh, sort of wrap round kimono almost tops with matching belts. Here's another little top, just a little fitted vest, quite cute. I like this one as well, it's the same pattern as the flowery dress was but with a little tutu insert and some beads. It's a lovely uh, shiny satin. Very cute. 
and this, oh, I think I made this for a Barbie. Here's my embroidered coat. You'll have seen this in a previous video. This is the gray one. Here's, I think this was the first coat I tried to make. It fits the original Blythe body. It's got shorter sleeves, but a cute little pocket, just made from scrap fabric. And from my embroidered coat video again, this is the pink one. And here we have some very formal high-waisted trousers, just with pinstripe fabric. An unfinished kilt with some scraps from our local fabric shop. Another pair of leggings. And another pair of high-waisted trousers. You can tell I like these. I wear them myself. And again with scraps from the local fabric shop. These Some of these are real wool and they are beautiful little, uh, little jackets really happy with these and they're lined as well very fiddly <laughs> and this was i think a christmas decoration that i figured i could unpick because it was so enclosed and it makes a very big furry jacket oh and some christmas hats that i crocheted too now in the next bag i think these are all accessories this is my fake organisation of things. My uh, cheeseburger backpack, also from Steven Universe. A little bit obsessed. I was really happy with this. <laughs> and another handbag. And another with some leather straps and corners. I really quite like this. It's got a jingly bell and a little flower brooch pinned on for fun. This is a pixie style hat that I crocheted. Really nice colours, love it. And a little bear hat. A little bit, could be a bit, a little bit longer, it's a bit short, but it's super cute. Very homemade. Oh, this was a Barbie scarf, I think. Here's one I crocheted, it's terrible. And a hat, quite like this, made from a pair of old tights, just a little section from the middle, cut. And a headband that came with Simply Delight. Here's another bag that I made with needle felted decoration. Here are some tiny jersey gloves. They do actually fit on the hands. Very tiny, like mittens. You can tell I like winter clothes for Blythe. Here's another little handbag. And oh, that's an old Barbie purse, broken. That's another Barbie purse. Some Blythe uh, sunglasses. Ooh, some old earrings that may be used as like brooches. Um, themed Christmas. And this is a necklace and a bracelet, also Barbie. And I've no idea where this is from. It's a bubble blowing wand. And I also keep all my spare hands in here. Now we have the underwear bag. Should really get rid of some of these. I've got rabbit socks that are way too long. These are fine, knee high socks. And I've got lots of tights, some white, some black some red, some stripy. A lot of these are made out of old tights as well. These came with Simply Delight. Some more socks, these are quite cute, little cat socks. These are way too chunky, I should really get rid of these, just long socks. Some more tights, more chunky socks and purple tights. Some more tights that were made from patterned tights with skulls on. And these are little flowery ones, again made from old tights. Or oh, some little ankle socks with lace around the tops. 
I was experimenting with pants as well, I made some white and some black. And there we have it, that's everything I've got stashed. Finally, please enjoy the finished outfits. If you'd like to see more in-depth videos of clothes making, leave me a suggestion of what you're interested in in the comments. Join me next time, I'll be making shoes and boots to complete the outfits, and you'll also see how I finish off that sleep cord. Thanks for watching, bye!